Good morning, and welcome to Darren Daily, the number one morning program to jumpstart your success and help you become better every day. We are in the midst of a special series discussing the legendary leader and Hall of Fame coach, John Wooden, and his building blocks to his famous pyramid of success. Now, I, I particularly like John Wooden's definition of success that is printed at the top of his pyramid. It reads, success is peace of mind attained only through the self-satisfaction and knowing you have made the effort to do the best which you are capable. To me, this is a profound concept, maybe the most important one can ever realize throughout their life. You see, we are faced with this challenge every day, often moment to moment. I mean, think about it. Have you made the effort to do the best of what you are capable of? Because very seldom we do our best. We know we could be a better spouse. We could be a better friend. We know we could try harder, get back up quicker, go further, push longer, dig deeper, but we don't. We do less than our best. We don't make the effort. We too easily let ourselves off the hook. We make excuses or we justify why things are the way they are. We explain away our reasons for skipping the gym, cheating on our diet, not making those prospecting calls, showing up late, not sticking to the priorities. In most things, we just settle for good enough. And here's the thing, the world around you will let you get away with good enough. Society is content with mediocre. They prefer it, in fact. It keeps them from having to feel bad about their own lack of effort. Only you can hold yourself to a higher standard, one that is usually much higher than anyone around you would ever expect. But you know, you know when you've given it your all, when you have put it all out there, when you have left every ounce of fight, vigor, and effort on the court or at the office, when you have pushed yourself repeatedly beyond your previous balance. Having studied human performance over the past 20 years now, there's a really great lesson right here, something that just might change the course of your life from this point forward. If you're interested, here it is. You are far more capable than your mind will try to convince you otherwise of. It's true, your mind is your greatest saboteur. Why? Why would your mind not want you to realize your greatness? to see all that your body could do, to push, to stretch, to break well beyond the walls of your comfort zone? Here's why. Your brain has one job and one job only, to keep you alive. And when you go for greatness, when you push yourself, when you require yourself to go beyond the familiar, the comfortable, the safe, you put pressure and stress on your systems. This is seen as a threat to the brain and it wants none of that. And it will do all it can to convince you to slow up ease up, or better yet, just stop. Just survive, that's all it wants. But you want more than to survive, right? You wanna thrive, you wanna flourish. As my mentor Jim Rohn would say, the purpose of this grand adventure is to see all that we can do with all we've been given. You see, that's it, right there. The numbers for life's master lock, to see all we can do with all we've been given. Or as John Wooden put it, success is peace of mind attained only through self-satisfaction and knowing you have made the effort to do the best which you are capable. You don't need much more than that in life. All you have to do at the end of the day is ask yourself, did I do the best of what I was capable? Have a bad sales appointment? Ask yourself, did I do the best of what I was capable? Did I prepare enough? Did I research enough? Did I hone my skills enough? Finish your workout, ask yourself, did you do the best of which you were capable of? Did you go as hard as you could? Were you as intense as you could have been? Were you as focused as you could have been? Hey, even if you had an argument with your spouse, ask yourself, did you do the best of which you are capable of? Did you listen enough? Did you empathize enough? Were you as patient, as compassionate as you could have been? One sentence, all of life's challenges answered right there. It's all you need to do to reach your potential, live a fulfilling life, and achieve anything that you can conceive. Do your best. And as John said, success is peace of mind attained only through self-satisfaction and knowing you made the effort to do the best of which you are capable.